Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Savannah Elizabeth and today we are doing a holiday eyeshadow look using the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette in Rosewater. I posted a poll on Instagram asking what one you all would like to see. I'd asked Rosewater. Truffles. Berry Bad and cream and sugar and uh, rose water one <laughs> so that is what we are going to be using today i am going to do minimal fast forwarding and yeah of course mostly i will focus on one eye because we don't want to be too repetitive and as always this video is not sponsored in any way shape or form i'm super excited so let's just get started I'm grabbing a nice fluffy brush. This is from Wet n Wild. I've got a hair on it and I have an itch. <laughs> yep. All right. Um, yeah, minimal fast forwarding. I'm going to essentially try not to fast forward through any of the eyeshadow portions. First off, I'm going to start off with that beautiful matte shade here and plop that on my outer corner and in my crease and just build that baby up. Oh, I love this palette so much. It's so pretty. And also, if you already have like the e.l.f. like bigger palettes, this is like seriously just a cutout of the, um, gosh, what is the name? I have it in here. This one. This is the Elf Rose Gold, Rose Gold, Rose Gold um, Nude Eyeshadow Palette. It has all of these shades in it, so if you have that instead, that works just perfectly. But just building this up. If you notice any excess glitter, mascara, eyeliner, that's from the last video I filmed. I just did the holiday look using the Tati Beauty Palette. That was requested. I'm gonna add, sweep a little bit to my lid here. It is such a faint, nice, subtle shade here. So you can really pack it on. Blending it up, down, all around. Grabbing a more pinched, small, fluffy brush here, same shade. Lower lash line. Oh my gosh, why is my eye watering all of a sudden? I know generally there's a rule not to put shimmers in the crease, but there's only one matte shade in here. So I'm going to grab a smaller, more pinched fluffy brush and dip into the slightly deeper pinky shade here. Put it on the edge here and on my crease on the outer portion as well. Very gently. I'm gonna dip into it with my finger here, naturally. Pop that right on the edge. This is really more so eyeshadow focused, but I will include a brief of me doing the rest of my base. I have foundation and a foundation, cream bronzer, powder, concealer. Those I don't quite have a general idea what I'm doing for the rest of my base, but well, so much for the brush at all for the shimmer shade here. Whatever. Okay, whatever with that. I'm going to dip back in with this little fluffy brush here. That deep, deep shade here. I'm gonna put that on my outer corner bit here against my lash line. Same for my lower lash line. Very, very outer portion. I really do hope this turns out. I didn't 
can't test it. There. Here we go. I'm going to grab that brush here. And just blend it a little bit more. Oh, ever so softly. There. Not done, I promise. I'm going to dip into the lighter shimmer shade in the palette here with my finger. And just put that on the rest of my lid. Like, it's such a pretty pink. I love my pink eyeshadows, seriously. I would be happy to just wear pink eyeshadows the rest of my life, actually. <laughs> Sorry, all the other eyeshadow palettes I own. My bad. Okay, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna quick, no, I don't need a brush yet. Use my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. It's a beautiful pinky shade called Blossom Glow. Put that on my inner corner here before I go any further. Okay, put that down. What do I think so far? feel it needs to be a little deeper on the outer corner. So, very, very gently taking my fluffy brush, dipping into that deep shade. Like, let's get that fuzzy off here first. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like, seriously. Boop. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. And blend it like seriously I barely did anything and it helped it really did quite a lot it really did a lot for me <laughs> okay I'm going to put on mascara I have my L'Oreal voluminous lash paradise mascara in black is black which I will not show me putting it on but yeah I love this mascara seriously great mascara and with my bottom lashes, I'm going to focus it on the outer portion. With that dry or almost dry, I'm going to take the NYX Wonder Pencil in 01 Light and just kind of smudge this on my waterline on the bottom. <laughs> It'll just help brighten and open the eyes. You can always use a white one as well. I just wanted to use something from an actual drugstore. And yeah, let's quick plop that on off camera. There's one more optional step for the eyeshadow, but I'm going to save that to the very, very end. So I'm going to quick finish my base here. I'm going to grab my, I think I'm good on bronzer. So I'm going to go right into blush. I'm going to use the, whoopsies, no, not you. I have this planned out. I wanna use the Floss blush here. This is something I'm trying out. It is in the shade Sandals Chick Cheek and Lip Tint. I'm just gonna get some on my brush here. Just make it look like a nice little color. Yeah, that's just a nice little flush here. <laughs> little, mm, whoops, a little more than I wanted to, but blush does tend to wear off pretty quick. I normally do this all before powder, but I'm making it work. Grabbing a beauty blender to press that in more. I did really want to focus on the eyes thing as in some places the mask mandate is still a thing. It is, it's true. All right, back to my highlighter. I'm going to, oh yeah, blinding, blinding, blinding. Setting spray, I have the Urban Decay All Nighter. Ultra Glow Setting Spray. Mm -hmm. I love this stuff so far. I've been really enjoying this quite a lot. <sighs> For lips, I'm just going to use this um, Tarte Quench Lip Rescue in Nude. It's just a nice little nude shade. Hydrating. Ta-da! Shiny, hydrated, good to go. So you can leave the look at this, or if you're a little extra, you can use a little bit of a glitter shimmer eyeshadow. 
I have the e.l.f. one in bling bling. I'm just going to quick place this on my eyelids. Oh, it matches my nails. That's awesome. Just put a little bit. And voila. I really didn't like this stuff at first, but I've actually it's grown on me. I'd like to add it just more on the very inner portion as a little extra pop. But there is the quick, easy, finished holiday glam look. I really do hope you all enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell to see more of my goofy face. And I will see you all in my next video. Love you all. Bye. Mm -hmm.